Hello everyone. Today we're going to show you a little video tutorial on how to get started whenever you sit down to practice your tuba. The first thing you need to do is to make sure that you warm up by buzzing. What you're going to need for that is you're going to need your mouthpiece, which I have right here. Go ahead and pull it out of your case if you have one, and if you don't, well, you should get one. Okay, take your mouthpiece, which is quite large, and what you need to do first is say the word top. Then what you need to do is right before you say the p on top, or just stop. You're going to go top. That way you can go top. Start buzzing. Okay. Now, you can change your lips multiple times. For tuba, we're going to use a lot of the low stuff. So I'm going to do this on the mouthpiece now. I'm going to say the word top. But I'm going to stop before the P. Top. Top. <laughs> now, if you warm up properly, you can play an entire song on just the mouthpiece. <laughs> And there you have it. Okay, and that's the first step in warming up. The second step in warming up is to make sure that your valves are properly oiled. Now, what I have here today with me is my tuba. If you notice, I have paddle valves, which are also known as rotary valves, which you see most often on French horn. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to place it down in front of me. Now, for a rotary valve tuba, what you do you just to make sure that you don't take off the rotors, you're going to take off the slides. So I'm going to take off the first valve slide. So what I do is I hold the first valve down, that's very important, hold the first valve down, and then I find the correct slide, and I pull it off. Now, what I'm making sure to do is to just pull it out very carefully, because if I dent this, this first valve slide at all, then my band directors are going to be very mad at me. So then I gotta take it in and get it fixed. Okay? So all you students out there, make sure you don't bend this. So I'm gonna put this down on a nice dry surface. And then what I do is I take my oil. I prefer the Alcas brand, but you can use whatever you'd like. As long as it's rotary oil, I suggest talking to your band director or talking to your local music store clerk finding out what oil is best for the instrument that you have. For my purposes, I use a higher grade oil. Okay, so then all I do, I'll show you this, my first valve slide would be right here, in these two openings now. Okay, all I'm going to do is I'm going to position the tuba, which is a very heavy instrument, and I'm going to place oil down the slides. Just a couple drops will do you. You don't need to overdo it. If you overdo it, then you got to clean the whole thing out. Okay. Now, I'm going to put it back very carefully. Insert it. you got to make sure you press the first valve down while you're doing this. Insert it very carefully. I make sure it goes all the way down. And then I bring it back up to where I think I need it in tune. And then I need to work the valve. All that's doing, when I say work the valve, all I mean is press it rapidly. Okay? And that's it. Now you're ready to play. On the next video you'll watch, you can see me grease up the slides. Thanks for watching.